Hey, hey, tubers, back for some more drafting on Arena. Streets of New Capenna. We going to get back into the grind. Increase that win rate. I'm up to 61% now, so... Trying to get that average back up to the 65, 66 that I have across all the other draft formats of the last... X years. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we'll jump into our pack. We have a couple of good options here. Some of the best... Commons, anyways. Strangle, probably the best red common. Inspiring Overseer, maybe just the best common in the format. Certainly going to be my pick here over Luxurious Libation. Um, yeah, just too much value. I mean, kind of annoying to play against this card constantly, but uh, it's just too good not to take here. So, going to take the Overseer, pass Libation, pass Strangle. Bunch of good lands, and then we'll move on with our life into a second pick. Ooh, this one has some options now. A lot of different ways you can go about this. You know, if this was like week one, I'd probably take the Rocco because kind of uh, thrilled with that card. Pugnacious Pugilist, very good. Then we have Echo Inspector, Magician, and Regulator. I think one way or another, I'll be taking a blue card, whether it's the Inspector or the Regulator. And I think I like the Regulator a little bit more. Obviously, they have synergy with one another. The regulator uh, tapping down and locking down if the inspector has connived a 1-1. One, one, but I think here the regulator is a better choice if I'm going to take a blue card anyways. Into what appears to be a grifter or out of the way. Expendable lackey also quite good. Um... The thing about this format is the 1 and 2 drops are so important to get, especially if they're the good ones. Like, you don't want to just fill your deck with random bad 2 drops and 3 drops or whatever, 1 and 2 drops. But a card like Hypnotic Grifter has been um, a real all-star, so I think I'm going to take that here over Out of the Way or Expendable Lackey. Blue-White is just a fantastic color pairing anyways. There's a Broker's Hideout here, Quick Draw Dagger... Protection and run out of town. I don't think you need to take those early. I don't think these are cards you normally want to run more than, say, one of a piece anyways. So this is pretty easy land, given what we have started with. Nice. That's a good pickup. Uh, lots of good choices here. I think the crowbar is going to take it just by a little bit. But Skycryer, Make Disappear, and Nuisance are all pretty darn good. And I would probably even run the Backstreet Bruiser. But Crowbar is one of those uh, really solid two drops that you're looking to pick up. Into a Sky Crier now over Girdragoons. I don't see any reason to, to dip out of white or blue. Um, while Esper is a good color combination, blue-white Flyers is just one of the best decks in the format. And if you can get it past you, and it does look kind of open right now, then it's 100% it's the place to be. Wow, yeah, for sure. Especially when we're getting like a 7th pick Echo Inspector here, Skybridge Tower, and even, even Gathering Throng. I think Gathering Throng, if you can get three or more of these, is just one of the best things to do at three mana, even though, you know, there are infinite other three drops that you want to pick up. Gathering Throng is very, very good. Uh, maybe a one of Dagger here is okay. I don't think it's as necessary in blue-white, though, as other decks. In fact, I mean, I don't really like Snoop, but it is another creature that can hold a 1-1 counter for, like, the Regulator. And it's not a terrible blocker on the ground while I'm beating in with all of these Flyers, so... I guess the Snoop makes a little bit more sense than the Dagger in this particular deck. Nice, as we get a Tower here versus Make Disappear, and then... The one good red card in the pack, the Strangle Wield. That's kind of crazy. Somebody's going to get a very late Strangle, but... Like, I'm taking the tower here, and I'm not upset about it, I guess. Yeah, Magician Wheeling too. Okay, so I guess red is open, but um, I don't think we're going to jump into it. I think we just have too good of a start in white and blue. And the thing is, all of the best commons are in white, blue, and green. So even if we are seeing the best red cards, I mean, I don't even think it's correct to swap. Yeah, good. got a lackey here and a run out of town. Wow, Maestro's Charm, super late too, but we did wield the Witness Protection as well. I mean, just look at our playables. We have a super strong... <laughs> that's really good. A super strong blue-white start. Love it. Open to Giada, Font of Hope, that's perfect. Um, 
I could actually see taking Inspiring Overseer over Giada, which is so crazy. But Giada is also insane. Like, Giada has absurd synergy with all of the angels in the format, right? With Inspiring Overseer, it casts the Overseer and gives it a 1-1 counter. With the Regulator, it puts a 1-1 counter on the Regulator so that when it enters, it automatically gets to lock something down. And it's just a 2-2 Flying Vigilance for 2 mana, so... We're taking Giada. We're going to be happy about it. We're not going to be happy about passing Overseer, but... Definitely makes sense to take the rare. Okay, that is a very good rare. Jaxus is pretty damn insane. The only issue here is that it's not super splashable, as you always need one additional red source. So, on the splash... I'm never blitzing this. The question is, am I running red now? And blue-white-red is not really a supported archetype here. It's almost better for me just to take one of the fixers or flyers again. But we knew what red was open. So I made this bed. I'm going to have to sleep in it. We'll take the tower. Keep shipping the red. As long as we keep seeing good blue cards and white cards like this Echo Inspector here, then I don't mind also passing good red cards. Uh, you could take Broker's Charm if you really wanted to. I already have a Broker's Hideout. It wouldn't be hard to splash this individually. But I think we just want to take another Flyer here. Over the uh, one drop. Another pretty weak pack. Could splash the Obscura Ascendancy, or Obscura Charm. Um, as I don't think we need a second Snoop and we don't need a Dagger. So, small chance of splashing that. We'll take it. Okay, Lagrella, yes. Broker's Charm, I think I was a little bit on the fence on. But um, the Broker's Charm had a good blue card in it uh, in the same pack, so I didn't mind taking the blue card there. But Lagrella, there's nothing close to it here. And it's pretty insane, so easy, easy pickup. Late Corpse Appraiser, Late Murder, have a couple of Flyers, or rather blue cards overall. We already have a bunch of threes. I think the Bruiser's good here. Again, it's another solid 2-drop that can block while you're beating down in the air. And then eventually, if you get a couple of counters, obviously it attacks as well. Nice. We have either a Speakeasy Server or a Make Disappear. Let's go with just one of the 5-drop flyers here. Although I wouldn't mind getting a Make Disappear later. Another Nuisance is pretty good. We really want to get some more Fishies then, or Lackeys then, if we have two of these, but... Nuisance has just been an all-star. One mana casual, oh, sorry, one power casualty. Um, so much value, so much tempo. Another charm on the wheel. This looks like a uh, Rafine's Guidance, though. So what are we looking for? More regulators. More two drops that gain counters. We don't have any Rafine's Informants or any of the... Uh, backup agents yet but I guess that's not as bad when I don't have more than one regulator anyways so oh this deck looks good let's see two one drops one two three four two drops one two three four three drops a lot of rogues galleries going around this would be a, a blue black no we'll just take the two two flyer with pseudo lifelink So right now, Snoop and Initiate are probably my worst cards. This deck, deck looks pretty solid. Uh, otherwise, I might play the kill shot. I don't think we're going to want run the Waterfront District. Not a huge fan of kill shot, but... Ah, these are both decent. Security Bypass has actually been not awful, I should say. It's a lot better when you have, like, that 1-1 one, one double striker, but who knows. Oh, God! <laughs> well, if I wasn't already planning on splashing green, this would certainly push me overboard, but we opened one of the best rares, so... Kinda hard to pass that up. It really does suck that I opened an informant in this particular pack, but, I mean... There's, there's nothing to say about it. This card is just stupid. And it will win you games. So, guess I will take it. Um, 
fixing right now is just the broker's hideout. I don't see any other ways I have to make treasure, right? No, not yet, but that's not too much of a concern. We can take a removal spell here in the knockout blow, or we could just take another flyer. Creature counts at 13 right now, not counting like crowbar. I don't mind just taking another inspector here. It's probably good. Wiretapping, holy. Hmm. Oh man, that card's really good, but it's a little bit slow. We have so many other choices here too. I mean, we already have three Echo Inspectors, so I probably don't need to prioritize a fourth. Protector's pretty good though, but yeah, I'll just take another rare. Ugh. Skybridge Tower or Make Disappear. Let's get another two drop since we already have two towers. But I guess taking another Skybridge Tower means I would be able to play just like two, three forests, no problem. And we are going to end up with enough playables, right? Actually, yeah, I like taking the tower here. This is a lot of tap lands for effectively two color. <sighs> okay, now I kind of wish I had not taken it. Four towers is quite a bit. It is a lot of... Tapland action, but okay, there's another broker's hideout. We need this for sure, because this one fetches green, whereas the towers are always blue white. Another lackey is fantastic. We've seen a couple shattered seraphs, but I don't think we wanted to splash those at all. Damn, so many echo inspectors. Oh, but I think we want the broker's veteran. I think I might be cutting the bypass too. How many, uh,. Man, we've seen a bunch of throngs this pack as well. We have two casualty cards, is that it? Yeah. This deck looks really good. Another initiate on the wheel. I don't think we're playing that. Yeah. So... We saw one Rafine's Informant, that would have been nice. I don't actually mind one Crocodile at the top end if we wanted to. Uh, we saw one Rafine's Informant I passed. This is probably worth it too. We didn't see any backup agents though. Um, and we only saw that one Regulator, so kind of sucks there, but our deck looks kind of busted, honestly. It's just like really good flyers, broker's ascendancy. Creature count actually got pretty high there as well. Uh, I guess I can probably cut the snoop then. That might be my worst creature now. I kind of dig that. Although I guess with the second lackey, the snoop gets better. And it's also fine to sack away to like a rooftop nuisance. I'm also not big on kill shot. I don't think the opponent's going to be... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's cut the kill shot. Because we're going to be the one tempoing the opponent out and attacking, it feels like. Let's do that. And 17 lands should be okay. I guess I run all four towers, though. It's a lot of tap lands, but our curve's pretty low. Like, we can go, like, three drops and a tap land or whatever, you yeah. know? One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, and then two forests, perhaps. That's four green sources, four, eight, and that's ten sources of both blue and white. Uh, we needed a little bit more blue than white. So maybe we go down one plains and up one forest. We also have a lot of looting, right? A lot of looting available. Wiretapping is going to draw extra cards. Three Echo Inspectors uh, connive. This connives. This connives. These both draw cards. This can draw cards. This can draw cards. Yeah. Pretty happy with this. Oh, I actually get one more land, don't I? Is this... Is that only six? Oh. I actually get another land here. So maybe one more island. Yeah, 
Yeah, this deck's great. I would I would say on average we would expect to get like five wins with this deck. And that's that's a lot. Right? Especially in best of one where variance is a thing. Um Yeah. Let's go to round one and let's let's get crazy. Opening hand looks pretty good. Turn one tower. Turn two lackey with another tower, perhaps, or the uh, broker's hideout. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go get green now. I'm going to play the grifter now that we've drawn that instead. As if we want to, we can play planes and then choose to connive. But it looks like the opponent missed a land drop, so... I think I'm gonna do this. And probably just discard the lackey. I'm gonna discard the backstreet bruiser now instead. Because with four mana, what I can do is lackey plus sack it to the nuisance. And we wanted to get the grifter online, I think, by to give us a counter off the regulator. Oh, but this this might be a non-game if the opponent's just gonna miss land drops. Oh, do they have a disdainful stroke? No. Okay. I mean, if they had a counter there, it might have been closer. That's pretty good. Takes my nuisance. They're still super far behind, but they're not dead dead. This time we'll just discard a land. Oh, do they have a Wrath? Oh, they might have a Wrath in their deck. I think we just keep attacking into the, all, all their open mana, though. Force them to do something. Like, I could have pre-combated the Regulator, but I want to see what they do here. Maybe this is Metamorphosis. Sure. Okay, if they're doing that, then I'm going to go ahead and still play out some creatures. I wanted to see what they did first. Yeah, their deck looks pretty good, too. We're missing too many land drops, though. So let's regulate, tap down the Vandal, smash with everything. Okay, if they had Wrath, they would have... Um, chump chumped, unless they're baiting me, which they might have been, but. Seems like that's probably a non-wrath. Good. So they get to tap down something here, that's fine. And then we go crowbar, equip to our fish, and that's lethal. Alright. I mean, the opponent just got mana screwed there. Their deck looked very good, too. Our draw was good, but we didn't get mana screwed, so... That's magic, baby! GG, go to the next! On to game number two. We are on the play, and our hand is disgusting. We'll get a Plains here, turn 2 Giada on the play, turn 3 Overseer. Yeah. Actually, we get to go Overseer plus Lackey.
Make me discard a card. I'll discard the bruiser then. Good game. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't take enchantments. So we can just protection their Larcenist and keep smashing next turn. Keep the pressure active. Um, yeah. If they make me discard my forest, that's a little bit awkward, but that also means they're not doing much, so... That's fine, obviously. Murder and a land milled. Alright, that gives them three different card types in the graveyard. So it doesn't do anything to attack with the lackey here. Because I hit him down to eight, and then if I make the fish, I'd only have seven damage on the battlefield, so... I do need to draw a little bit more action. They bounced Giada here and not the Overseer. They could also bounce the Fish, I guess. But it's still we still have a two-turn clock regardless of which one. I guess they could pitch a fourth different uh, mana cost into the graveyard this turn and then enable the Newsy the following turn to gain three back. We'll see. Yeah, they discarded a 5. They are going to bounce the Giada. Okay. They already have a 3 in their graveyard, right? So I think we'll trade here. Smack for 4. Giada. Lackey. Okay, they need to hit here. And they still need to have another spell afterwards. They didn't hit, so... Oh, GG's. We just have a bunch of unblockables. Now welcome to blue-white, ladies and gentlemen! Where your opponent's creatures don't matter and you just do your thing. Welcome to Streets of New Capenna. Welcome to Giada Indu Inspiring Overseer. Duo. On to game number three. Okay, not an exciting hand. No flyers, but eh. I'm on the play with Astables. Some good cards. Just need to find a few flyers here. Or we could get super fishy, I guess. Uh, do we have any double white or double blue in this deck? I guess we're going to find out in a moment. The answer is no, not really. I'm going to go ahead and grab a second island, though, because we do have more blue pips than anything else. So even though that means I'm not going to be able to cast Lagrilla next turn, or if I draw Broker's Ascendancy, that would be a little bit unfortunate. I think that's still the right line of play. Right, because as you see, like the two lackeys themselves are already blue uh, requirement. I have protection, so... It's fine, that doesn't do anything by itself. Um, do I want to just Lagrella that and smash? I guess I do. I don't think eating one of my own lackeys is all that relevant. Hopefully they discard a land. Ooh. That's pretty good too. Um I guess I'm just gonna regulator this turn and smash for four, even though we don't get the full tap down. Because we have two rooftop nuisances in our hand. 
I like getting aggressive next turn. Like if they just play Adjudicator or something, I can sack a lackey, tap two creatures down, draw two cards, keep the pressure online. They just make a fish here. Good. Very good for us. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Tap. Back. Uh, we could actually tap their fish here if we wanted to, but we'll just tap both flyers. And we'll make one of the unblockables, since I don't think the Broker's Veteran is going to do too much and the Bruiser doesn't do anything at all. It's fine. That's kind of interesting. Oh, wow. Now, I think the right play is probably just to witness this. And smash. But this was going to be a pretty decent turn to uh, wiretap if I had wanted to. The only reason is... Uh, the only reason I decided to protect there and just smash out is because we have so much more pressure on them already. This is going to make it really hard for them to ever attack, period. And they still already have to deal with, deal with these two fishies. So now, now they have to just play super defensive. Wow, they have some really good cards in their deck. <laughs> I was going to say, they have to play super defensively here. Like, they, I don't even think they can attack, right? Holy smokes. And then we still bash in with the fishies. And we'll go for the wiretap play now. Gonna just hit a land here. There goes our broker's ascendancy. We're never gonna get to nine cards in our hand. So I'd rather take a card that I don't want to draw. Um, ooh, the reverse Lagrella. Holy smokes. Eat a fish and maybe the Overseer? No, not the Overseer. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, maybe they can start attacking here soon. I mean, they had to use two different removal spells on my 1-1 unblockables, which was great. So Ledger Shredder could, in theory, trigger next turn the fight rigging. Huh. They went on the Lagrella instead. Alright. I mean, they're at three life, but they have a better board of creatures. The wiretapping is what's going to be... Uh, MVP here for us. Yeah, look at their deck. Holy smokes. Sheesh. Their card quality is through the roof. Mine's not bad, but their card quality is... Higher. They are attacking now. Okay. So if they don't make a fish here, they probably have a kill shot or a run out of town or something in their hand. Oh, weird. So I wonder why they didn't uh, play that first. I played the untapped land so that I can uh, sack my tower end of turn. Mm. 
Man, we're kind of losing now. Their creatures are just so fat. Yeah, next turn their fight rigging triggers. Holy smokes. Kind of crazy. Another rooftop nuisance, I guess, is what we want to draw. What? Are you kidding? Holy frick. I'm only running 17 lands here. Alright, let's shuffle. Yeah, we have a lot of cards that'll kind of just win the game. But this is absurd. That double spell, sorry, that double land draw might have just ended up ended it for us. Especially uh, once they get this free spell from fight rigging. Uh, like they have, they've gone through the same number of, number of cards as we have. It's nuts. Although we've seen like five more lands than they have, so I guess that's the reason we're losing. And it was a Broker's Charm! Wow! I'm not killing my wire tapping though, which is... ...surprising. I guess they get to kill Lagrella and bring back their Regulator. So basically, this game is their deck being insane, but, more importantly, I fluttered out. Like, they were able to come back because of how much land I've been drawing. Kinda sucks. All right, take eight. Two draws. Better find something good here. That's one of them. Okay. Put him to one this turn if I'm doing my math right. The crowbar kills the uh, witness protection. I mean, they have one unknown card in their hand, but. Well, let's start off with this. I think I'm actually going to tap down the Ledger Shredder and not go for lethal. Because I would have to draw something very specific. Okay, that's good. I am letting them trigger their Ledger Shredder, though. I don't think we're supposed to kill their fight rigging quite yet.
think I just pass here. This is a crazy freaking game, my dudes. <sighs> Let's see. We have Giada, Skycrier, Overseer, Snoop, Echo Inspector, and a By Your Silence. So if we draw By Your Silence, I think we win. Depend I mean, assuming they have nothing in their hand, which... Just wishful thinking. Maybe I was supposed to attack with the Initiate there. Definitely feels like it now. That has seven cards in their deck. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully they tap out for something and then we go for the win. Okay, I think I just attack with the initiate. Let them ledger shredder again, sadly. Oh shoot, I didn't hold up white. Whoopsies. Needed to help hold up white for the crowbar. Oh no! Does that kill me? That's very close to killing me. Holy smokes. That's five unblockable damage, six with the fight rigging. Uh oh. They have a pump spell, they win. I messed up there not holding up white for the crowbar, but... I guess the, the ideal gameplay is to crowbar the witness protection, maybe? <laughs> what an absurd, bomby game. Their deck quality is absolutely insane. Our deck's quality is high. Both players have resolved a ton of different bombs. Oh, man. What? Am I dead? Maybe I'm dead. I can't block any of the fish, so that's... Brick. I need to block all of their flyers. Oh, I don't want to give them back the. I don't think I'm supposed to block with the Grella. And then I have two flyers to block. Did they forget that I have lifelink with the Skycriers? I mean, I mean, they have four cards in their hand. I might just be dead, of course. Yep, 
If they see it, it kills me. Oh, they missed it! They missed it. If they put the first strike on the Ledger Shredder, I don't gain two life and I die. Holy smokes. They missed it. Phew. Crazy game. My god. <sighs> wow. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. What a freaking game that was. My start was insane. We bricked out. They stabilized with crazy bombs. We then eventually drew out of it. Drew our bombs. They still had more pressure. And then, yeah. Came down to the final combat where they just missed the play. Alright, 3-0. and let's, let's do the next one. Okay, on to the next game after that uh, thrilling conclusion to the first one. Um, yeah, this is a keeper. Awkward to have a double forest start, but it's uh, the way it goes. The question is, do I want to grab a blue here? I guess I do. Because now, especially since we drew another blue conniving creature... We don't need the white as early, but we definitely need the blue. There's another mirror match. Everybody's figured out that drafting blue, white, and green is the way to go. I might trade here. I will not trade there. They have the dream curve. Okay, but we drew a good land. Very nice. Okay, well, now I feel very good about our position. Because we get to Lagrella, our Overseer, and one of their creatures. So I'll take four here, no big deal. This hand still needs to draw another island, though. Oh, not even offering the backup agent, huh? is slightly surprising. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to attack for two in the air and then play out Inspector and probably discard Lackey or Snoop. Snoop's pretty good versus all of their ground creatures. I guess so is the Lackey, though. Ooh, the Throng Song. Hopefully they don't have too many of these. Uh-oh. The longer, it's, the longer they take on that trigger, the more that they're clicking on. <laughs> the scarier it becomes. Kind of wish I had kept the Snoop now, but oh well. That's not the worst. Um, sure. So let's trade here. I'm actually going to keep my business person alive. And give... The shield counter to the Overseer, because now we can Lagrella the uh, business person instead. And they no longer have any good attacks, really. Just a bunch of throngs. Uh, looks like they might be straight up blue white then. Yep. Yeah, we're in great shape. Do 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 do. Okay. 
Air superiority is ours. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and block here. So the way that this is going to work, we're going to trade at the same time. Since they're the active player and it's their turn, my Lagrella trigger is going to resolve first before the broker, uh, Broker's Veteran Shield counter resolves. Which means they're not going to have a creature with a 1-1 uh, counter or a shield counter. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Did I do this wrong? No. My... Oh, I did mess up. <laughs> I'm silly. Don't listen to me. My trigger... My, my trigger resolves first, which... Okay, never mind. I'm just being silly. I thought I was being five head, but I was being one head. Trade, both creatures enter at the same time. Trigger. Yeah, I messed that up. No big deal. Still crushing, but... Why did I think that was going to work the other way? Our, our creatures both trade. Broker... Damage goes on the, the creatures enter, then they go on the stack. Oh no, I guess I meant that. Right, right, right. Never mind. I'm just silly. Um, let's. I guess we're gonna go with the nuisance this turn. Sack our fish. We're gonna tap down their fish. Nice, good draws. Mm, I guess we'll still leave the 1-1 one, one back. The block. Well, they have one unknown card in their hand, so it better be a good one. We have nine damage on the board right now. Unblockable. Alright, they drew a crowbar. What does that do? Crowbar blows up crowbar. Equip an attack for four. Are they just dead on board now? They block this 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put them to 1 if I don't block. So I guess I should block here. Okay. Oh, well, that's a win, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, eleven. Tap down their one blocker. Grifter discard any spell. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did the math. Alright. Got the trigger order wrong when I blocked with Lagrella, but not that it was bad to get my huge flyer back. And that's a nice little 4-0 starterino for us. Playing against a lot of other blue, white, and green decks. Joy.
Okay, on to game number five. Let's have another Giada game. No, no Giada. Ugh, this is another keep. And grab a blue source. Where are all my duels? I'm not supposed to use my sack lands like this. Okay, well. I guess I deserved that draw, didn't I? <laughs> Go ahead and get the tap land online. We can either double spell next turn or we can just initiate. Let's continue to get our tap lands online, and we can still double spell next turn. I'm not going to really care if they counter my brokers, sure. You got it, buddy. I think I like double blocking if they attack. Corrupt Court Official. I'm going to discard Buy Your Silence over Lagrella. Alright, just pass. Sure. They didn't attack last turn, but they're attacking this turn. Not quite sure what that means. Do you have another counter? Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess they have the plus two plus O trick and bring their creature back. Sure. I mean, they're running out of resources. And we don't really mind those creatures going into the graveyard now. Okay. Well, that's just going to be the biggest thing on the battlefield, so hopefully they don't have one more removal spell in hand. I think I'm going to discard the crowbar here. I'm going to still keep the Lagrella and the Witness Protection. Blitz, take four, that's fine. And if we draw a green source, we can just eat their fish on another turn. Hope he's trying to aggro me out here. There's a green source. So I think I'm just going to double fish this turn and pass. Because we don't need to eat the 2-2 with Lagrella. I think we'd rather save it for the fish. That's a very annoying draw. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't maybe sack and tap down. They just have another fake your own death? <laughs> no, okay. So make a fish now, I assume. We will eat the fish with Lagrella. Oh, actually. That's pretty good, too. Let's do it like this instead. Keep the fish locked down, pass. They have to use a trick to push through my regulator. Okay, so they just have the they do have the plus two plus zero trick. I'll take one. I messed up. I should have attacked for two first here. That's a mistake. And we'll just pass here. So I missed two damage. 
I'm going to need to block block. Okay, they're not going to attack with it. This is such a tempting turn to play the wire tapping. I could also... Oh, man, I could... Nuisance tapping the Lagrella, tapping three of their creatures. Okay, this is the high risk, high reward play. And I'm going to go for it. Same thing, we're just going to eat a land if we see one. Pass here, and hope they don't top deck like murder or something. Okay, well, I haven't immediately died after they drew their card, so... <laughs> yeah, here come the goons. Block here, block here. This way, if they want to kill my Echo Inspector, they have to use the plus two plus O trick and not get their creature back. Yep, we knew that. That was very obvious. Now we get back our 4-5. Make sure we order the triggers so that it gets locked down. That almost jubated me there. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Still don't think we're supposed to be using our witness protection on these crappy creatures. Very good draw. A little bit of stabilization going on here. Very nice. I will go ahead and protection the uh, the newsy now. And I think we wait one more turn to start attacking. Yeah, the pivotal turn was uh, resolving that wire tapping. Four make disappears. Sheesh. I like the card, but I guess it's especially effective in a super aggressive deck like this. What do they have in their hand that they're thinking about? Maybe Grizzly Sigil? Oh, it's totally Grizzly Sigil, isn't it? Yeah. Yikes. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. 
Not what we wanted to see, but... As long as we just don't draw land, land! Oh, God. Are you kidding? That might have actually killed us. That's absolutely absurd. I have to kill them before I deck myself with wiretapping. There are only 11 cards in my deck. <laughs> oh, lay it on me. Seven cards. I need to attack with my flyers next turn. I can't actually draw anymore with the Hypnotic Grifter. I'm gonna end up decking out at this rate. Alright. Go. Two drop. Five drop. Gain four life. We have a fifth counter? They do, they have a fifth make disappear. Oh, wait, no, that's okay. Sure. Oh, the wiretapping kills me before I can kill him with flyers. Ah, oh, this is so sick. Or does it, actually? It's going to be really close, isn't it? This enters with a 1-1 counter, taps their uh, Echo Inspector. Oh, wait. Okay. There is a buy your silence in my deck somewhere too. So I need to win next turn. Which is possible. left in my deck. I might need to play that to gain a life. Yeah. I don't need to grab a land here, right? It's just to... Yep, decline. Oh, we have a rooftop new... Oh, I, oh, I lost our buy our silence already. Oh, I must have missed it. Was it milled? Oh, it was milled, or I discarded it. <laughs> Once again, down to the freaking wire. I think there were some better sequences I could have taken the last couple of turns, but... We were about to draw both of the last two cards in our deck and then kill them exactly. Oh, no, I couldn't cast Rooftop Nuisance. Wait, was I? No, they were still just dead in the air. Never mind. I had like four or five flyers, all of which had three plus power. So even if they had a removal spell and then block with their flyer, we still get in for lethal. But wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, our deck's nuts. But we've played against some really good decks. Let's keep it going. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Next game. On the play. Hand looks good. It's a little bit slow, but it looks fantastic. Um, yeah, we just need to find one land, really, and then we're good to go, right? Turn one, tower. Turn two, tower, lackey. And turn three. Hopefully we found a land by then for the uh, Overseer. 
Nice little curve out here of all these cards that draw cards. Perfect. Uh, I guess either way, this these lands are tapped. But by playing the hideout, I actually thin out my deck of land, making it less likely I would draw one, so... Unfortunate, but that is the risk of running six different tap lands in my deck, I suppose. They could have a Fairy Vandal here. I'm not going to worry about it if they do. Sure. They even let me use my mana. How nice. Main phase Snoop means they get to level up their Vandal. Three islands so far for the opponent, so I doubt they're mono blue. They're probably, yeah, oh, they're missing some colors. They discarded Regulator, which is terrifying. Not sure this is a game where wiretapping is actually going to be cast anymore. Let's play this and hope they don't have a counter for it. And yeah, I, th I think we actually discard the wiretapping. I'll go ahead and attack now. If they have an answer to the Echo Inspector, so be it. I'm only taking like six, maybe seven damage. With Rooftop Nuisance, I'm feeling a little bit confident. And if they just don't have a way to deal with Echo Inspector, then they can't attack. Sure. Annoying, but... And there's that 7 damage. The lifelinker, lifelinker seems like it could be relevant here, huh? All right. Uh, well, they might tempo me out a little bit too hard here. Damn that fairy vandal. I'm gonna say easy double block if they attack. Nice. Everybody's got flyers. Come on, let's draw Ascendancy. I guess I should have probably attacked with the fish that turn. One card left in their hand. Feeling rather confident then, if that's the case. It's a fantastic draw. Alright, now we get to put the pressure on them. Get to go Nuisance, Casualty. Sack the fish. Or the Lackey, rather. Tap their Vandal, tap their Initiate. Regulator's pretty good here too.
I'm going to leave back the 3-4 and attack with everything else. They might block Overseer to initiate it, but I'm okay with that. They might also just take the hit. Alright, I'll go ahead and pump. And we can go for lethal next turn. Oh. Surprise black source, huh? Still going for it. Regulator, their overseer, smash out is lethal. Why does it always auto tap my greens? <laughs> Uh. Ooh, I hope I muted in time because that was a nice sneeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Bing, bang, bong. Got him. Feeling good, baby. 6-0 now, I believe. Back into the top 10, we climb. Yeah, 6-0. Let's, let's just convert to a 7. Let's go 1 drop, 2 drop, Broker's Ascendancy, and just uh, end people's lives. Okay, 7th and hopefully final game here of this Drafto. Ooh. I uh, wish this had one of my two drops in it, but maybe we can find one in the first couple of draw steps. Certainly good enough to keep. And wow. Okay. The best one do you draw. Let's grab a forest here, have all three colors. Uh, that looks like a turn two Giada, turn three inspiring overseer to me. Assuming all goes according to plan. Okay, there's the Grixis colors, but no kill on Giada. Which means I am not going to attack with it. We're just going to tap like this, play the Overseer as a 3-2, and then play the tap land. Perfect. Maybe they have the minus 3, minus 3. Deal gone bad. Oh, I was hoping they'd mill me, because they can mill a fish. But they milled themselves, got four of the types in the graveyard. And I'm happy to trade here. I'm going to have to trade with that thing eventually anyways, so... I think that's a fine deal. Just going to play out our Inspector, discard Snoop most likely. Rixus value versus Bant value. They're already down to 20 cards in library. Okay, we can discard the fishy fish now. Was going to discard the grifter otherwise, but this works out. Just looking for like one of my rooftop nuisances and then we can like alpha in the air. Meaning, alpha meaning we attack with everything. Now we really want to draw Rooftop Nuisance. Guess we just hand dump. Let's get the unblockable online. One drop. Crowbar. Pass. 
can move the crowbar over to the fish next turn, start attacking that way. I do have to be a little bit careful. Hostile takeover is always something to keep in the back of your mind when you're playing against a Grixis deck. It looks like both players are just going to be on hand dump central. Oh, that actually kind of works. Okay, we can start attacking with the flyers then. Let's put that on the wrecking crew. Smack for seven. They'll trade with one of the flyers. Now just don't run into wire tap or don't want run into hostile takeover. Because if we do, we need to draw wiretapping. What does that mean? I don't know. I think we just block like this. It's actually good for us if we can get a shield counter on our Echo Inspector. Okay. Sure. I'm happy with that. So now the Bounce and, like, Whack are the two things that could get Echo Inspector, but otherwise it's going to be kind of hard since it has four toughness and a shield. Four toughness gets around, like, all the, the ways that you could break shield normally. All to professional and uh, the deal gone bad, but it looks like they don't have much. All right, so we're just going to dump out. Keep playing out our flyers, gain a bunch of life. Keep attacking with unblockables. Do the things that flyers do as we go back up to 23 life. I'm going to double block one of the four threes here. <clears throat> Gurr goons. All right. So we're just going to equip up our Skycrier, smash in, play Initiate. It's good enough. We're going to go back up to 18. They're going to have 12 damage on the battlefield, so. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. That's definitely pretty good. They go back to 16. Ah, we have a game. Hmm. Get him to 10. I guess I'm supposed to leave back my shield now. Because the Echo Inspector can just eat their 4-3. Uh, sure. And now with the 4-3 gone, we can just go back to attacking with everything, no fear. Alright, has to be hostile takeover. I guess Corpse Explosion also works.
That is not good enough. All right, good game. Definitely did not get to Broker's Ascendancy as much as I would want to, but Blue-White Flyer's baseline, really hard to beat. And as such, you can see we pulled off a nice little 7-0, so... I hate that uh, a lot of times this format is just going to come down to players playing the Bant baseline, the Blue-White-Green baseline, but because so many of the top-tier commons uh, and uncommons are in those colors, it's going to be hard not to play around this type of thing a lot, so this is something that you're going to run into frequently, I think. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. Nice to get a 7-0. Feels good. You better hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate you tuning in for these daily vids. Um, and yeah, I'll keep these daily vids going as long as I keep seeing interest in them, which uh, looks like people are still enjoying them, so we'll keep doing that. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thanks for watching.